Generally, batteries are devices that convert chemical energy into electrical energy. Modern battery technologies consist of two main types of chemistries, primary batteries and rechargeable batteries. Unlike rechargeable batteries that can be recharged after depleting their charge through cycling, primary batteries are not reusable and can only be used once. So you may ask yourself, what is the advantage of using them, right? That's a great question. There are different applications for primary batteries like small electronic devices or electronic measurement equipment. But they are specifically suitable and considered for harsh and less accessible applications such as implantable medical devices in a space and military applications. A key design factor for all these scenarios is high energy density and flexibility to work under various environmental conditions. Among different types of primary batteries, lithium ferronated carbon, known as LICFX, is the safest system with the highest theoretical energy density. There is no side issues such as gas generation like lithium manganese oxide or heat generation like lithium thionyl chloride. LICFX batteries are low cost, lightweight, and safe. They can be stored for a long time and continue functioning again even after years. And importantly, depending on the specific application, they are flexible to be packed into different shapes. But what is lithium CFX and how it works? First, let's talk a bit about what is CFX. Hmm, this is how it looks like. CFX is a fluorinated carbon-based material. The carbon material can be any type of carbon, like coke or graphite and x is the ratio between f and c and can be varied in the range of 0.5 to 1.3. CFX primary battery consists of CFX cathode as the positive electrode and lithium metal anode as a negative electrode, separated by a separator to avoid shortening of the cell. The liquid electrolyte is also poured on the separator to assist the lithium ion movement from anode to cathode. The lithium CFX system can generate energy by driving a highly spontaneous reaction which is the movement of the lithium ions from the anode side to the cathode side. The lithium ions have a high tendency to swim through the electrolyte and go into the CFX layers to form lithium fluoride and carbon. This reaction gives us energy and this is how we see the performance of the cell in the laboratories. This type of batteries are a great candidate for non-accessible and harsh environments, like the deep space environments. For this case, the performance at low temperature is very important. Oh wait, low temperature is not the only issue. We need to figure out their low power too. With the support of Merced collaborators and facilities, we developed a flexible and easy step method to get a smaller particle sizes to achieve a better performance even at low temperatures. The method is safe, low cost, and scalable. We measure both physical and chemical properties of the obtained material. Our microscopic imaging show that it has a smaller particles with higher surface area. Despite these interesting improvements, our spectroscopy tests show no alteration on chemical structure, which is highly desirable. Hmm, everything seems very interesting. Let's now do some experiment to test whether it can actually deliver higher power and better performance at low temperatures. And how about seeing a real demo? Are you ready?